Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. We're here at Elizabeth F. Gamble Garden in Palo Alto, California, here to learn some great vocabulary. So let's get started. First, let's talk about this word. This is a trellis. It's countable, so I have to say a. Uh. This is a trellis. The TR in trellis is pronounced like a ch, ch like chicken, plus the R, ch, tr, tre, trellis. This is a trellis. The second syllable is pronounced uh, uh, it's not stressed. So together, trellis. This is a trellis and they built this trellis so the flowers can climb up the trellis. You can say that flowers are climbing the trellis or the flowers are climbing up the trellis. These are flowers and they're in a flower bed. Just like the bed you sleep in, but it's for flowers. We use the same word. This is a flower bed and the flowers are growing in the flower bed. And this is netting. We call it netting. It comes from the word net. Normally we say a net. Net is countable. I can have one net and two nets. If you're fishing, you have a fishing net. But this is different. It's like a material, so it's not countable. We say netting. Remember the T in netting is pronounced like a fast D. Da da da. Net. Netting. This is netting. And these are called stakes. One stake, two stakes. That's right, they're called stakes. The same pronunciation as the meat, but it's spelled differently. These are stakes. They go in the ground. And this is a faucet. Remember, the faucet you turn on the faucet and you turn off the faucet. We don't say open and close the faucet. We say turn on the faucet and turn off the faucet. It's the same as in your kitchen. In your garden, we use the same word. And this is called a bird bath. We call it a bird bath because birds are supposed to take a bath in this. It's a bird bath. Remember the pronunciation, bird. Use the sound er like burger. It's closed. Use your voice, er, er, bird. This is a bird bath. Remember the TH makes a voiceless sound like think and thank you, bird bath. This is a bird bath. And this is a bird. There are a lot of bees in this garden. Remember, one bee and two bees. The S makes the zebra sound, zzz, bees. There are a lot of bees in this garden. But remember, there are other insects that are similar to bees, but they have different names. Sometimes you see wasps or hornets. And we also have yellow jackets. They're similar, but not the same. I found a tomato plant. Look at these tomatoes. They're not ripe yet. When they're red, you know they're ripe. These tomatoes are green, so they're not ripe yet. And the verb is ripen. They need to ripen on the vine. This is the vine. They need to ripen on the vine. They need to get ripe. Use the verb ripen. They need to ripen on the vine. This is a vine. They need to ripen on the vine. They need to turn red. They need to get ripe. We use the verb ripen. They need to ripen on the vine. These are not ripe yet. Kevin, what is this? This is a string. They use the string to hold up the plant. So the plant grows up and doesn't fall on the ground. They use this string to hold the plant up. And the plant is tied to this. This is a spool. When you have a string around a thing, it's called a spool. So the string is attached to the spool. Use the long oo like pool and cool. Spool. When you connect the oo to the dark L, you make an extra sound. Spool. Not spool, but spool. The same as cool and pool. I found a valve. This is a valve. 
And the valve, you don't turn on the valve, you open the valve and you close the valve. It's different than a faucet. For a valve, we use open and close. Pronunciation, valve. Use the short a ah sound like apple and black cat, va, valve. Remember the V has a voice, a vibration. V, v, valve. This is a valve and the valve is closed. These flowers are called lilies. When I use called, I have to use the question word what. What are they called? They're called lilies, but they're special. They're really, really big. So they're called white giants. Giants, pronunciation, j -j giants. Use that y sound to link the vowels. Gi-y-y, like yellow and yes. Giants, giants. These are white giants. They're really big lilies. And what do you call these plants? These plants are potted plants. Because they're not in the ground, they're in a pot. This is a pot. So we say they're potted plants. You put the ED after pot, use a double T, potted. The double T is pronounced as a fast D. Potted, potted. These are potted plants. And what is this thing called over my head? This is called an arbor. It's countable, so I have to say an. This is an arbor. Arbor, pronunciation, use the R like car and bar. And the second syllable is er, like burger. Together, arbor. This is an arbor. And what is this thing called? This is called a lantern. Pronunciation, lan, turn, lantern. Put the stress on the first syllable. This is a lantern. And somebody turned on the lantern. So how do I describe it? I use the adjective lit up. It comes from the verb light. Lit is the past form. We use it as an adjective, lit up. The T is pronounced like a fast E. The lantern is lit up. We found a little fountain. A little fountain with a frog. What's the frog doing? The frog is spitting water. He's spitting out water. You can use the phrasal verb spit out. Together, spitting out. The frog is spitting out water. Or you can say the frog is spitting water. Remember, the T in spitting is a fast D because it's between vowels. Spitting, spitting. The frog is spitting out water. And we were here a year ago and we made a video in this same garden. So keep watching to learn great vocabulary about gardens. Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're in this beautiful rose garden talking about flowers. So of course, this is a flower. But what about this? This is a bud. This is a rosebud. This is a rosebud too. And this rosebud is about to bloom. Bloom is the action. Bloom is the verb. You can also say blossom. This rosebud is about to blossom. So what are the parts? Well, these are leaves. I have one leaf and two, three leaves. And this is the stem. This is the stem. These are the leaves and this is the rosebud. And don't forget, on the flower you have these. These are petals. That's right, we spell it with a T, but it's pronounced with the fast D sound. D -d 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 -d. Petals, petals. The flower has many petals. And of course, this is a tree. Let's talk about the parts of a tree. This center part, this is the trunk. Trunk, that's right. Make the TR sound with a ch, trunk. This is the trunk of the tree and look down here. These are roots. This tree has a lot of roots. Pronunciation, make the long ooh. Ooh, like food, roots. One root and two roots. This tree has a lot of roots. 
And this is a tree branch. It's a big tree branch. And this tree has a lot of branches. Or you could say this is a tree limb. That's right, limb. The B is silent. One tree limb and two tree limbs. The same as branches. And don't forget, the tree has skin. This skin is called bark. Now, bark is not countable. I cannot say one bark and two barks. It's just bark in the singular form. This tree has a lot of bark. The bark is very thick. This tree has thick bark. This bark is very rough. This bark is rough. It's not smooth. It's very rough. And this bark is different. This bark is not rough. This bark is smooth. Smooth. This bark is very smooth. Look what I found. This is a palm tree. It's a tall palm tree. And yes, we say palm tree. You cannot say this is a palm. This is my palm. This is the palm of my hand. This is the palm of my hand. But this is a palm tree. And this is the trunk of the palm tree. But if you look up, there are no branches. There are no limbs. A palm tree doesn't have branches. It doesn't have limbs. It has leaves, but the leaves are not called leaves. We call them palm fronds. But let's talk about something more important. Let's talk about the pronunciation of palm. Palm, the L is silent. That's right. Now, if you ask an American, they'll say they pronounce the L because they move their tongue up to make the L sound, but they never touch the roof of their mouth. So it's not a real L and you don't really hear it. Palm. So with words like calm and almond, these words have A-L-M, but the L is silent or you don't hear it. Like I said, the tongue goes up like you're going to make an L, but it never touches the roof. So you don't hear an L. You hear palm, alm, almond, and calm, and palm, like this palm tree. And this is a bush. Bush is countable. I can say one bush or two bushes. I can say these are bushes. Or this is a bush. And this is a bush. These are very tall bushes. And they need to trim the bushes. The bushes are too tall, so they need to cut a little. They need to trim the bushes. Remember, trim with TR makes the ch, -ch sound like chicken. Ch, ch trim. They need to trim the bushes because they're too tall. You can also say hedges. One hedge and two hedges. Hedges is usually in the plural form. These are tall hedges. You can also call these shrubs. One shrub, two shrubs. But this word is not common in American English. Normally we say bush, bushes, or hedge, or hedges. We found some more hedges. Look at these hedges. They're cute little hedges, and they trimmed the hedges. That's why they're very short. The hedges are trimmed. And look at this bush. They trimmed this bush. They trimmed this bush in the shape of a bunny, in the shape of a rabbit. And what is this? What is this building? Well, it's not a building, it's a gazebo. That's right, the name is gazebo. The first sound is the relaxed uh, g. Then you have the long e, gaze, gazebo. Use the long o like no and go. Gazebo. The stress is on the second syllable, gazebo. This is a gazebo. It's countable, so I say uh. This is a beautiful gazebo. Look, I found some corn. This is a corn stalk. This is a stalk of corn. Remember, with stalk, the L is silent. Stalk, this is a corn stalk. And here's the corn. This is an ear of corn. That's right, ear. This is one ear of corn. This is an ear of corn. And when you're ready to eat the corn, you peel these leaves, and they call that shuck. You shuck the corn, it means to remove the leaves. And after you cook it, it's called corn on the cob. 
you eat corn on the cob. So this is the cob. You eat corn on the cob. Let's talk about path and trail. This is a path. Or you can say, this is a trail. This path is not paved. So remember, we don't say, take this way. You can say, go this way, talking about direction. But the thing is a path. Take this path. Or maybe we can take this path. This path is paved. It's paved with bricks. So you can take this path, or you can take this path. That is a fountain. And fountain has two pronunciations. I can say fountain, or I can say fountain. What's the difference? The first one I pronounce the T. T fountain. -ton. Remember, you pronounce the T, but don't say fountain. It's not stressed. The second syllable is not stressed. So we say fountain, -ton. fountain. So that's the first pronunciation, fountain, or I can say fountain, fountain. With this pronunciation, you put the tongue up like you're doing a stop T, but you don't make the T, you fall to the N sound, fountain, fountain. This is a fountain. So remember these words, fountain, also mountain and certain. Fountain or fountain, mountain or mountain and certain or certain. I found another fountain. This is a water fountain too. You can also say drinking fountain. This is a water fountain or this is a drinking fountain. 